My name is Ben Bobro, and I'm a professor of emergency medicine at the University of Arizona College of Medicine uh, and the medical director for the Bureau of Emergency Medical Services and Trauma System at the Arizona Department of Health Services. Cardiac arrest is one of the leading causes of death in the United States. Uh, and the real therapy we have, the best therapy for out-of-hospital cardiac arrest is CPR. And bystander CPR is a critical intervention that can improve survival. Unfortunately, most people don't get bystander CPR when they need it. We have seen from uh, some other communities when they focused on the 911 dispatcher giving pre-arrival CPR instructions that those communities were able to significantly increase bystander CPR rates and survival. The objective of this study was to implement a telephone CPR bundle of care, including a unique protocol, uh, a uh, special training, data collection, and quality improvement in two large regional 911 dispatch centers, uh, and over time to measure uh, the proportion of cardiac arrest victims who got telephone CPR instructions and the time that it took to get those telephone CPR instructions started as well as patient outcomes such as survival to hospital discharge and functional outcome. This was a prospective observational study uh, where we, we studied adult cardiac arrest that happened outside the hospital over approximately a three-year period of time in the Phoenix metropolitan area where there are approximately four million residents. We studied uh, over 2,300 cardiac arrests where we were able to link telephone 911 calls with the EMS call and the hospital outcome. What we found was that in our post-intervention uh, period, we had significantly more patients received telephone CPR instructions. Approximately 10% more patients received telephone CPR instructions. And the time that it took to get those instructions started um, was decreased on average by 44 seconds um, for each case. As far as our outcomes, we found a 32% relative increase in survival to hospital discharge and a 43% relative improvement in functional outcome. Implementing a bundled approach to telecommunicator CPR, we were able to improve the proportion of patients who received telecommunicator CPR instructions, the uh, proportion of patients that received any bystander CPR, and get CPR started earlier for those patients. And most importantly, this was associated with a significant 32% improvement in survival to hospital discharge and improvement in functional outcome. What we're hoping is that this model of continuous data collection quality improvement for the telephone CPR intervention will be adopted by many more 911 dispatch centers and will help improve bystander CPR rates and survival across the country.